dear students welcome to online lecture room in this video lecture we will discuss frequency polygon frequency polygon a frequency polygon is a graphical form of representation of data it is used to depict the shape of the data and to depict trends it is usually drawn with the help of a histogram but can be drawn without it as well a histogram is a series of rectangular bars with no space between them and is used to represent frequency distribution steps to draw a frequency polygon mark the class intervals for each class on the horizontal axis we will plot the frequency on the vertical axis Calculate the class marks for each class interval. The formula for class mark is class marks is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Mark all the class marks on the horizontal axis. It is also known as the mid value of every class. Corresponding to each class mark, plot the frequency as given to you. The height always depicts the frequency. Make sure that the frequency is plotted against the class mark and not the upper or lower limit of any class. Join all the plotted points using a line segment. The curve obtained will be kinked. This resulting curve is called the frequency polygon. Solve example for you. Question Construct a frequency polygon using the data given below. We have a table in which there is on the left side is test scores. And on the right side in the column is frequency 49.5 to 59.5 the students which get these marks the frequency is 5 means 5 students get these marks 59.5 to 69.5 marks were obtained by 10 students in the class 69.5 to 79.5 marks were obtained by 30 students similarly 40 students obtained marks from 79.5 to 89.5 and 15 students obtained marks between 89.5 and 99.5 so the number of students is the frequency for the marks obtained We first need to calculate the cumulative frequency from the given frequency. So the cumulative frequency is for the first frequency as we have no frequency before it. So its cumulative frequency is 5. For the second frequency 10, we have 5 first. 
so we will add 5 with 10 so the cumulative frequency for the second row is 15 similarly for the third row the original frequency is 30 we will add 15 with 30 so the cumulative frequency for this will be 45 similarly we will add 45 to 40 and the cumulative frequency for the 79.5 to 89.5 marks is 85 and for the last one 89.5 to 99.5 marks the cumulative frequency will be 100 because we will add 85 with 15 We now start by plotting the class marks such as 45.5, 64.5, 74.5 and so on till 94.5. Note that we will also plot the previous and next class marks to start and end the polygon. Then the frequencies corresponding to the class marks are plotted against each class mark. Like you can see below, this makes sense as the frequency for class mark 44.5 and 104.5 are zero and touching the x-axis. These plot points are used only to give a close shape to the polygon. The polygon looks like this. As you can see in the diagram, a polygon for the above given data will be similar to the graph shown in front of you. As we discussed earlier that for the 44.5, as there is no student obtained the 44.5 marks so the frequency will be zero so the polygon or the line of the graph will be start from zero next 54.5 marks were obtained by five students so here the dot is showing that five students have the marks 54.5 in the class or the frequency for the 54.5 marks is 5. Similarly, we discussed earlier that the data shows us that 10 students obtained 64.5 marks. So here this dot shows that the frequency of 64.5 marks is 10. It means that 10 students obtained 64.5 marks. Similarly, 74.5 marks were obtained by 30 students. So the frequency of the 74.5 marks is 30. 30 shows us the number of students, which is the frequency for the 74.5 marks that how much students obtained these marks so the number of students shows us the frequency for a particular um, number of marks similarly 84.5 percent marks were obtained by 40 students so the frequency for 84.5 percent marks is 40 then 94.5 percent marks were obtained by 15 students so the frequency for 94.5 percent marks is 15 and 104.5 percent marks were obtained by zero students as this is beyond the limit so there is no students who obtained uh, such marks therefore the frequency for these marks is zero Thanks for watching.